Are you sure this is Springvale? Uh, yes, for the millionth time, yes. But I don't know any of the people you're looking for. That is not possible. They all live in Springvale. They are my neighbors and friends. This is strange. What is going on? What is it? What? Can humans really live that long? Uh, does that really make sense? Oh, like the way that you keep food fresh. Still, it's hard to believe. But it doesn't seem like there's any other sensible explanation. Okay, so what's your... Olaf. Olaf? Oh, I'm sure I've seen that on my family tree. I can't remember which generation it was from, but it was definitely on there. So, a great, 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 great grandfather, but with a whole lot more greats? What an unusual turn of events. <laughs> Reunited at long last! Isn't that just amazing? Uh, Olaf, do you want to come and watch a cooking competition? Ah, yes, that reminds me. Brooke told me about the competition, and I've set everything up at the venue. You should come with me. ready. Oh, and Sigfria will be my assistant for the competition. Then let the cooking commence. I will be your judge today. And don't worry, I may have known Brooke for longer, but I will remain entirely impartial. Much appreciated. Well then, Traveler, Paimon, prepare! Wait, we're taking part in this too? Of course! If Brooke has an assistant, you guys will have to be mine. I'll need you by my side when the going gets tough. <sighs> Paimon doesn't remember applying for that job. Okay, Paimon will do it for the sake of the food. Our first problem is ingredients. We need something special to dress up the steak, but I don't have anything suitable here. Hmm. I've got it! Radish is what we need. Mashed or grated, it'll add a touch of freshness. And we can carve little flowers out of it as a garnish. Two birds, one stone. Go find me a radish. There should be some in the area. Oh, and make sure you wash it because it's going straight into the dish. <laughs> Thank you. 
catch the radish in the river. What's the hurry? a bit. Make me a mushroom chicken skewer. And make sure it's got that ooh-da-da -da on the outside, then hits you with the cha-ching in the middle. Just make it taste friggin' awesome! perfection here, and I just think it lacks a certain... A certain what? A certain... Boom Shakalaka! Yes! Definitely needs some Boom Shakalaka! Or perhaps a little Shakalaka Boom Pow! I just mean it would be a waste of such amazing ingredients to just serve this as is. Let me see... Would be ideal as some kind of regional specialty. Regional specialty? Yes, something that's native to this area but isn't often used in cooking. I don't care if it flies, crawls, or bounces. Even insects I can work with. Uh, interesting choice. Hmm, I'm sure I can make something of it. All right then. Forgot! Side dish! 
We need a side dish. Are you sure it's no trouble? Here, take this. I just scrolled it down at the last minute. And here are all the ingredients you need. Is this the recipe for that snack you gave us earlier? Yes, with some minor improvements so it uses up the leftover ingredients from Liyue. This is so complicated. How are we supposed to cook this with no experience? The technique doesn't matter. What matters is that you do it with passion. And that's what my father taught me. And you must be passionate about cooking if you've helped me this much already. I trust you guys. I know you'll nail this side dish. Confident. I like it. Come on, this is the final push. This was a fine feast. I have dined today like I have never dined before. Both chefs' dishes today were nothing short of exceptional. They were true masterpieces. And that is what makes this an extremely difficult decision. But this is a competition, and there can only be one winner. And that winner is Shang Ling. I thought I was sure to win with pork chops so fresh they were practically still grunting. But it turns out that's still no match for the taste of extinct boar. Uh, uh, excuse me? Did you say this was cooked from extinct boar? Yep, every last bit. My goodness, a single mouthful must be worth a hundred thousand mora. The amount you'd make if you sold this could support every hunter in town for years to come. <laughs> the main thing is that you enjoyed eating it. I don't care about the mora. Anyway, now our judge has given his verdict, it's time for everyone else to eat too. I made plenty! Meanwhile, I want to try Brooke's dish. Mmm, <gasps> this is absolutely delicious. I'll admit it, I was beaten by the best. Losing is no fun, but it was worth it for the chance to eat such superb cooking. Please, Shanling, I want some more. This is gorgeous, too! Such a perfectly layered texture! Were it not for that exquisite boar and excellent side dish, it's hard to say if I still would have won. Paimon's turn to eat! Hmm. I will have a taste, too. Oh. <sighs> My, oh my, this is, this is the taste of Springvale. Or rather, it used to be. <sniffs> this is the last time I will be able to taste the food of my era. Hey now, cheer up. If you like the taste, I can always make you some more. <sniffs> really? But the boar, it's extinct. The boar may be, but the taste isn't. I can simply recreate it using different ingredients. Putting a smile on customers' faces is what we chefs are called to do. Thank you. <laughs> a good time was had by all. But everyone's gone now. Let's go and say goodbye to Zhang Ling. Without your help, I don't know how it would have gone today. And without you, Paimon 
wouldn't have gotten to try so many new tasty snacks. Also wouldn't have gotten so full. Not sure. I'll probably start heading back to Liyue, but I might change my plan on the way. I don't like to plan things too thoroughly. Who knows? Maybe you'll bump into me out in the wild again. Xiang Ling's gone from Boom Shakalaka to Hakuna Matata. You are a gifted chef. You made an amazing batch of jade parcels. Come and visit me at the Wanmin restaurant sometime. I did promise I'd cook for you. And if you want, I'll teach you how to cook some of my latest inventions, too. It's a deal. 